And that's where we find Fox 23 meteorologist Laura Mock. And Laura, it's hot, of course, on ground, but you look out at the lake and see all that cool looking water, but looks can be a little deceiving. Looks can be deceiving because while you're out on the lake, you can sometimes forget about the other things that are heating up. You're talking about sand, even on the boat, surfaces can heat up very quickly. Now, I'm going to take a measurement of some of these surfaces. We pulled the boat out from the dock maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, so it doesn't take very long. It does look like we have some cloud coverage right now, but just the black cloth right here, earlier it was reading as high as 120. Right now, I'm getting readings probably in the 110 range, so very very warm. Also on the slide, this has been part of this slide has been sitting in the sun for a long time. I've been getting readings as high as 106. And actually, the slide right here is one of the surfaces that Janetta Corneliuson uh, always watches for her grandkids as she's sending them down. Some of those surfaces can heat up very quickly and can actually blister the skin if they heat up too much. Now, she tells me that when she's out on the lake, they, they're not out here unless they're in the water staying cool. They're going to fish tonight, but they won't fish until after it, the heat kind of goes down. So, um, would you say that you're typically waiting until the cooler part yes, of the day? Yes, like last night we went swimming at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> Just to beat the heat? Just to beat the heat, yes. And even at 7 o'clock at night, she has ice cold water standing by, not only to pour on some of these hot surfaces, but also to cool off the grandkids. Now, this hot weather, it's not going to last forever. There is a little bit of relief inside. I'm going to send it back into Chief Meteorologist James Adelaide, who has.